Hey YouTube friends, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today's vlog is a video of my friend and I. We found this super cute spot down south called Pinto's Farm on TikTok and we literally just decided to take a day trip down there um, just to experience it, take some super cute photos. Um, we hadn't seen each other in a long time so I thought to kind of show you guys around because I don't know how many people really know about this spot. So tickets are like $17 and though we don't have our kiddos with us, it is definitely a super kid friendly place. They have like a bouncy area and they even have pony rides included um we first stopped through this super cute little photo op place right here and thankfully nobody was behind us because we literally had a blast getting our like vogue magazine photo shoot on um so you know wear something cute if you want some cute little instagram pictures they got a little phone booth and they also have like a little bike so we definitely enjoyed that. Um, after this, we headed over to the tractor. So when we first got there, they ask if you want to feed the animals. If you do, it's an extra $7 and they'll give you like some tickets and a little token and that in a bag of food as well to feed the animals. And they'll take you, you do have a specific time you need to be over there, but they'll take you to like a nearby area and you'll get to feed the animals. So Unlike the videos that we did see on TikTok, we were not actually able to go into the goat area and pet them um, and feed them. We were able to feed them through the gate. I know I've seen people on TikTok going actually in the gate, but I don't think this time they were allowing it. But overall, it was still a great experience. I did ask why the horses have this mask over their eyes, and I was told it was to protect their eyes from the flies and bacteria. So... I kind of wanted to throw that out there because if you're not familiar like myself and my friend, you wouldn't know, but um, it's actually for their protection. So it starts to get a little cloudy out, so um, which it ended up raining a little bit, but it didn't ruin our day. Uh, we go over and we decide to feed the cows and then we decide we're going to um, get a bite to eat to kind of kill some time while it started raining and then we wanted to head over to the paddle boat. So as far as the food, um, the food was fairly simple from chicken sandwiches to tenders. You can grab a combo like a combo with like a drink and some chips and honestly to me like the chicken sandwich is bomb. Um, there's also a spot in the front to get like some milkshakes and ices. I did decide to pass on it because I was pretty full but if you know looking back on it I definitely wish I would have grabbed one because they seriously look so good. Um, but so now we're going to paddle boat and um, it was actually super fun. We got to feed the fish. They give you some little fish food as well when you decide to pay the extra seven dollars to feed the, the animals. Um, so check out this clip. My legs is burning when I say, what's that up there? That was a turtle or a snake? Yeah. Well, his head popped out the water. It wasn't no fish. Oh, Lord. So um, I think this place is such a cute place, honestly. Um, I'm sure my kids would love it, but you know, we want to... Well, let's not go back around again. Are we? I'm sure my kids would love it, but we wanted to just do have a little girls day out in Miami. They would. Oh, we got to do that too. My legs are... Whew. Whew, this is a workout. I'm not going to lie. Definitely a little workout. Um, they have four seaters as well. So family of four. It's a turtle. Where? Where, child? Let me see. Oh, it is. Show Liz, look at it. Come on. <laughs> he told some come on. Turtle, get up here. Look, and he's so slow, right? Get up here. Look, don't don't attack me. No, it's he. They trying to get the turtle. <laughs> He trying to come too. He really is. He ain't really making it. What? Chill. Oh look. Oh there is. I don't want to go too fast and bump the people up here. Look like got a little thick up here. Do we get to go and come back? Y'all, I promise I was not being dramatic. My legs were seriously burning during that paddle boat ride. But um, after the paddle boat ride, we headed over to these like big, uh, I swear we seen like big kids. We're on these like manual go-karts. I don't even know what you want to call them. 
Um, but it was fun. I really wish that we could have like did this on a trail for a longer period of time. I thought it would be really fun. I think the workers ended up limiting the amount of laps you could do to like one or two because the line was getting really long and the worker prior to the one to that one was just letting people go for as ever long they wanted. Um, but it was really fun overall guys. We had a really good time. I will say if you have younger kids like my daughter Taylor, she's two, like two, three and four I believe, they actually put an extra seat on the back of yours and you can actually ride the little kids along with you. So I thought that was super cute. I really um, would bring my kids here um, if I'm ever back in the Miami area with my kiddos. It's like a really super affordable place. So um, other than that, guys, definitely take a peek at Pinto's Farm if you're in the area. I'll leave all the information down below for you guys to check out. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video, share this video. And as always, subscribe to the channel. Thanks again.